know it's been a while, but I'm sorry. As most of you know, I've been recovering from a surgery, but I'm starting to get around a little bit now. And Val invited me on a little just like relaxing, hanging out, camping trip. Not, not really doing anything hardcore. You know, shooting, shooting BB guns. Trying to get my pallet gun to work. I got this new pallet gun, but I had some issues with it yesterday. Hopefully, we can figure it out today. But, um, no metal detecting, no rock hunting, nothing really strenuous. I'm just trying to take it easy. I'm not supposed to do anything really. What was the word that they used? Basically, nothing too physical for six weeks. So. I'm a little over four weeks right now, and uh, I think this is a good start. that we have is is really windy here last night we basically took this trail until we couldn't go any further because it turned into like a ravine it was like washed out in the middle of the road so she had to back it up quite a ways it's just a narrow path but we settled for the site and it was very windy very windy last night i didn't get much sleep she didn't get much sleep and the plan is to move somewhere else today. I'm not sure where we're going to be headed to. I'm surprised our bathroom hasn't blown away. It's doing all kinds of acrobatic things. The wind blows and it just twists and turns, but it's staked down pretty good. but it's in different colors. It's really windy here. It sucks when you, you're trying to go to the So the way to get out of here is that way. We try to go this way, but I'd say maybe, let's say, maybe a quarter of a mile down there. Um, like I said, it's washed out. Unless you, unless you got some really serious suspension on your off-road vehicle and big tires, and maybe some big balls. So um, this is Cold Creek, this is Cold Creek, and uh, there's a little community over here, nice little homes, apparently there's no electricity out here, yeah those are, those homes are a few miles away, kind of neat and kind of cute. see any any other vehicles on this trail yesterday which is always a good thing that's what we like not that we hate people but we we take these trips to get away to spend some time together I see some purple in this rock purple. Look at the, the bands on there 
it's weird. I don't think you can see this person. It's got purple and then some gray. Purple, gray. <laughs> Oh, look at the green in this. You see that green? Probably not as apparent to you guys. Things never really show up the same on cameras, and every monitor is different. So. Just kind of saw this this morning. Because I don't like to look through this right there. I heard some funny, funny sounds. Looks like something's living under that rock. I heard some funny sounds last night. I went, walked into this area a little bit, but I didn't come this far. I don't know if there's snakes in this area or not. I don't want to take a chance. Sure has been a while for a video, huh? I guess it just isn't in the area, or maybe I just haven't been lucky. much bigger. It's a bone. I thought that was a rock with a bone. We'll find out there's lots of bones out here. Like something that's been um, polished from being in a river, you know, tumbled and all that smooth. Love to find something like that. Good luck with that, though. So maybe eventually, if I look, I can't find it if I don't look right. Maybe something like this size, something in the backyard, nice quartz rock. This 
there's really nothing to stand out here as far as rocks go. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything that's super special. Material like this. Lots of stuff like this. Sandstone, maybe? Limestone? I don't know. Sim similar type of thing right here. All this stuff. Lot there's lots of stuff like this. Looks like sedimentary stuff. I think that would be called sedimentary rock. I don't know. I haven't done enough uh, homework. I've just been watching YouTube videos. I've been just interested recently watching this and finding out about different colors and stuff and seeing the rust in the rocks is pretty cool. Just trying to trying to educate myself. Oh well, that looks weird. Two different rocks, and one's like melted around the other one. It's like this is interesting. Rocks are cool. Like, you know, they may not even look super cool, but look at all the layers. You can see the different different lines in there. Layers. I'm assuming that's a sedimentary rock. Went up to the Mount Charleston area like last week. So that meteor shower comet thing, whatever. On the way back down the mountain, we hit a burrow. Right. Probably about 55, 50 or 55 miles an hour. Didn't see it. It just it was so dark with the headlights hit it and didn't even hit the brakes. Just kept going and I told her don't stop. Don't stop. It doesn't make any sense to stop. There's nothing we could do. There's no way that thing survived. We, we stopped at my house. She dropped me off that night. Just kind of surveyed things. It's a little bit of damage on her Jeep. But looks like she got it, she got it fixed. Thank God for this bumper. Feel bad for the burn. Good thing we're in her Jeep and not her car because if it were in her car, that thing would have gone right through the windshield. No doubt about it. But yeah, this bumper is awesome. I think the light came off. This popped out of place. She got that back in. But this thing's heavy duty. So here's that piece of gypsum that I was telling you about. I don't know how well you can see it. See that like crystalline structure? Maybe. It's so bright. I 
found a much bigger piece of this closer to my house. Before. It looks cool, but it's nothing really worthless. I like crystally rocks. Got a lot of banding on it. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, I find all the good rocks, huh? That's really cool. Now you tend to say, "Oh, it's beautiful," so I feel better. No, I'm not. This is really cool. Save that one. No, seriously. You really do. There's more of that thing on the icon area. The one you just showed me? Sugar? Sugar oh the calcite looking one? So I wish to. So, we're moving on. I guess we've had it for this campsite. It's too windy here. Let's see if we can't find something better. Okay guys, so I'm back home. I guess um, Val decided that it was just too windy and too dusty where we were at. There weren't very many areas that we could camp and she decided that we would it just probably be a better idea to head home. So yeah, I mean it was just it was it was really dirty. I cannot lie, it was very dirty. It is the wind was blowing so hard and you know our little restroom was just completely covered completely covered in dirt. I mean at all times even it's like we have our toilet paper and stuff. Like in Ziploc bags, like in freezer bags, so to keep out that dirt, but it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's the shit gets dirty anyways, and it's hard when you're trying to. I just had a surgery and in this area, and I can't be using a restroom that's dirty and stuff. And you know, she understands that. I, I don't want to be going to get an infection right now. So it's just a better idea for us to avoid the dirt storms and head home. So... I'm here. She's at her place. I'm sure she's there by now. And this is what's left of my mess. All the shit I took. I didn't realize I had so much. She gave me that bag of dirty though. But yeah. Um, got a mess. So didn't didn't get any footage of the air rifle or the BB gun. I was having some issues with the air rifle. I guess we'll get that figured out next time. Yeah, it was just a little bit of a bummer, but no big deal, honestly. Just sorry I couldn't bring you any more better footage. I'm trying to get back to this. I'm just going to be a little bit slow. But I do thank you for all your love and support. And I will keep producing videos to the best of my abilities. Like I said, I'm going to be a little slow. Probably the next couple of weeks. But I'm going to do my best to put more videos out. So thank you for joining us on this short little trip and stick around for more, I guess. Definitely.
Bye, guys.